Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. And yes, we're back in the garden as it's time to tackle the cloud tree. As it's well overdue, as it's been a number of weeks now since we rescued it from its broken pot. So on the way, why don't we have a look at my Terpy Box balls I rescued and transformed. And they're doing ever so well. These are the two in the courtyard. And if we make our way up to the top garden, we can have a look at the other two. A quick look at the pond, looking ever so nice. The trees aren't half growing in the middle of the garden. Walk down the stone path and here's the other two. These are the two that were not doing so well and they've picked up beautifully. This is the one that felt too bare to be on camera so it's a huge improvement. Looking almost as good as the two in the courtyard. But that's not what we've come to do today so let's go around the garden and see what awaits us. <laughs> there it is folks, the cloud tree ready to be transformed. But before we do that, let me tell you a little backstory about how this came to be. This little tree is the only tree that remains of a family of four. Here it is with its three little brothers over 20 years ago. And then 10 years later, all four got so big I discarded the three and kept the one and turned the one into the cloud tree that is the cloud tree today. Every year I pruned and shaped it repotted it into a bigger pot and it became a fine specimen every year looking more spectacular and then suddenly disaster struck we had a broken pot I was unable to pull the tree out to prune it as birds were nesting in the biggest ball at the top which brings us to the vlog I made in June hi guys and welcome back to Chip Screen World in this week's vlog we're going to be rescuing my cloud tree that's been slightly neglected as it's in a broken pot so I've not been able to pull the pot out to trim it as I usually do and it's unable to hold water so it's probably very thirsty so today we're going to tackle the repot we're going to downsize the root ball feed and rejuvenate and that's exactly what we did we downsized the root ball in half at first and then a quarter off each side then we potted it into a trough type pot we tied it in and then waited for it to settle in so we could then transform and shape into the new cloud tree it will become today so that's the backstory folks and back to today and on to reshaping this is the top ball that the birds were nested in they were little wrens. They used to enter the nest through the bottom of the ball. It was quite fun to watch. But as a result of the birds nesting, I was unable to put the bamboo scaffold in back in place. So what's happened is the balls have all grown together. I've managed now to get new scaffolding in, so now they're all separated. But as a result, the balls have died in places where they weren't getting enough light as they were growing up against each other. So it's given me an opportunity to reshape this in a way that this won't happen again. In other words, more clouds than globes. So let's make a start. I'll show you the first one in real time and then I'll probably zoom through the rest in a time lapse. Here we go. Thank you. 
Right, so first stage complete. And I've trimmed a third off the top of all the globes, giving them all a flat top. We've taken the nest out and there it is, what remains. And now on to the second stage, which would be to strip and prune the branches off a third up from the bottom of each globe. And now we come to the third and final step, which is to shape them. And there we go, 
all done looking beautiful let's give it a quick tidy up and the three tools I used to do this job were my clippers my pruners and my shears and now with the new cloud shape we've got the light penetrating all the way through hitting all the clouds so we shouldn't have any problems in the future as long as I keep it trimmed and now that we have the light penetrating all the way through these dark areas should green up in no time at all get it back to looking its best next week we'll be back to the town garden project so tune in for that and now all that's left to do is to put it back on its stone plinths near the pond where it lives so we can admire it when we sit near the pond keep an eye on it Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog, guys. Until next time, have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye now.